Welcome, Laura, and thank you for doing this interview with us. Are you okay, okay to go through some questions with? Yeah, of course. Okay. So, when did you know you were autistic? And I knew from a very early age I was autistic. Um, I was about six or seven years old. I had to grow up very quickly. Um, and so therefore my brain developed quickly-ish. Um, I had, uh, yeah, I had a very abusive past, so I had to grow up very quickly. So what effect does autism have on your life? Autism affects my life uh, through sensory processing, um, the way I see the world is not the way the world is. So when you're a typical person, um, the world is is either black or white. Uh, sorry, the world to a, um, a neurotypical person is, it has a grey area in it. Um, but I don't do grey. I'm, I'm either black or white. Okay. Yeah. So... What do you prefer, being called autistic or person with autism? Autistic. Okay, and why is that? Uh, because I, I fought for 40, I was 42 um, when I received my diagnosis. I, I should have been helped along the way by my parents, but my parents were not able or didn't want to support me in this. Uh, they just thought I was a naughty child. Um, so I had to fight for everything and I still am fighting for things that should have been um, done when I was a child. Um, How did you get on at school? Um, I wasn't allowed to go to, um, I went to nursery and then where you just played. Um, I used to enjoy the bottles of milk with the blue straw, I <laughs> yeah. um, used to really enjoy yeah. that. Um, and I was given that because I was, the school um, at the time thought I was low in nutrition. Um, but as I've just said, my parents abused me. So I, I just, I wasn't allowed to go to a primary school because we kept moving all the time. Um, the schools didn't know I existed. The benefits didn't know I existed. Um, until I went to a secondary school in Liverpool, the Merchant Taylor School. Um, that's when they, they, they found out that I had a very low learning ability and should, they, the care system I was in at the time said that I shouldn't have been in mainstream education. Okay. So how does anxiety affect you? Um, Anxiety is with me all of the time. Um, you wouldn't know, probably, but I'm actually an, an, very anxious right now. You probably know Michelle because you're because yeah. you know. But um, I think anxiety presents itself to me in different ways: a shout, a scream, a cry, um, a shake. And I don't want to be around the person who's making me ang ang very anxious. Okay, so what makes you feel better? A hug. A hug. I love hugs. Um, I love snuggles. And I have um, I have a twiddler, um, one of the staff who supports me um, here at Autism Together. Um, we even brought it today. I have, have it in my pocket. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to get it out? No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah i have a um the the person that supports me actually named it a twiddler because twiddler. Yeah, yeah so it's lots of different ribbons with different um sensory bits on and silky bits and crispy bits yeah. and yeah and i stuck my thumb as well wow so what are positive things about being autistic oh i love positivity um this I'm glad I'm autistic because I see the world in a different way. So I can give um, a dip my opinion to, to I, I see things that, pe that people who, who aren't autistic or people who are neurotypical, um, I see things that they don't see. Um, 
So I can look at a person and tell by their body language um, how they're feeling or what is what is going on. I, I can really like I can just look at them and I can see what's what's happening. Um, even if they don't say, I can just I know that the, if they're in pain or I know if they're feeling anxious or and if I can make that better in any way, then I do. I know you're very good at reading emotions on people. Very good. Thank you. you. <laughs> so, do you think things have got better for people with autism? Not really. No. What, um, what do you think we need to do? It would be amazing if we could be the only place, the only specialist place in the whole of England to go on the news worldwide and people say wow people with autism together are really changing for the better for people with autism in the sense that um i think there needs to be a higher level of training um for people who are in the gray area like myself um I'm not at one end of the spectrum, I, you know, and I, I've just, I said before, I don't do grey. I'm either black or white. So for people who are like myself, um, there isn't enough understand. It's understanding and communication. So what's the best thing about autism together? I love it. It's my lifeline. I love everything about it. I love the people. I love the staff. I, I, I could never thank the staff enough for caring for me. I, I could never thank the the way that the way that you, you just are. You just understand. You just you don't expect anything from me. You don't you just nice to me all of the time, even when I'm not nice to you or I'm I'm not nice. I've, I have a special key worker and I'm I'm not nice to, to her most of the time because I don't understand or because I'm I'm having a bad day but we get through and she supports me through that and you know it, it's just it's my lifeline it's I don't have any support outside I have a social worker but um as far as like funding goes and um, I pay to come here um, I come here three days a week and it's it, it is my lifeline it's like it's like a drink of water to my system it's like um it's better than taking any antidepressant it's better than taking any pill that that tries to control ADHD or the symptoms of autism um it's it's better than any of that it's just it's just an amazing happy place mm -hmm. to be well, thank you so much, Laura, for taking part in this. Thank you. I've really enjoyed it. it. Thank you. Thank you.